Hey everybody, BTTF DMC 1984 here again, and these are some more finds from yesterday, December 4th, 2011. I stopped by a Walmart last night. I picked up a few new cars. They finally, one I went to finally had some new ones. Picked up the 70 Plymouth Roadrunner, or AAR Cuda, sorry. They're a real nice uh, pinkish purple red color. Real nice. Like the wheels. The wheels actually fit this car. Picked up the new color of the 86 El Camino, Fort Worth Fire. Real nice. Like the fire department deco. Picked up the Fast and Ever 11 Camaro convertible concept. Now, I'm not a big fan of these Fast and Ever wheels, but actually, on the Camaro in this color scheme, it actually works for it. So I'm surprised to say it myself, but it actually works for the car. Also, picked up the orange Fright Bike. So now I have all three colors of this green, purple, and orange. Real nice. Picked up the 2012 new models Laguna Sega 2012 Mustang Boss 302. Real nice. If you ever watched a car show with Adam Carolla on speed, he drove this car at Laguna Sega and he ended up screwing up the test by spinning it out and lodging a rock in one of the front tires in between the tire and rim. So if you get that, you might want to take a look at that one. It's really funny. The Thrill Racers Earthquake 12 Hummer H2. I like how they finally put some uh, light decals on the back. Really nice. Give it more of a realistic look of a vehicle than just having that straight green paint. Found a couple of the 64 Lincoln Continental police vehicles from HW Main Street 12. My camera's not going to pick it up, but it says Austin Police, Austin, Texas. Real nice. The ones I'm looking forward to are the Arizona Gilbert uh, police vehicles, which are going to be a suburb, or not suburb, but a Tahoe later on in the year. found a 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport with the white lined wheels. I'm getting a hold of the all white wheels a little bit later, but this is the variation with just the line around it. So it's not an error, they do have two wheels to them. Once I get that, I will show that. Found another 2010 Chevy Impala, faster than ever, without the hole in the hood. Remember when I found, first found one of these, there was a little bit of a hole right by that Hot Wheels logo, right where the S is. Real nice. Found the Musclemania GM12, 70 Monte Carlo, and HW Code Cars 12, 07 Ford Shelby GT500. And like the other code cards I've seen, all the code cards so far for 12 have the error in the back where it says HotHeels.com. Like the Challenger and another one, the little F racer I haven't picked up, it, they all say Hot Heels. So it is a full-blown card error on these cards. So I don't know when Hot Wheels is going to actually fix it, but they have yet to fix that little misspelling on the rear. Found another 70 Dodge Charger Hemi. Real nice. I love this old school racing tampo that they brought back for the last two years. Real nice. And picked up a Matchbox. The Hot City Action Ford Crown Victoria Taxi. Which makes these interesting is even after they've recommissioned these all as taxi cabs, which basically all they do is just throw a taxi logo up where the uh, light bar would sit. 
The interiors have never been changed. Now you really can't see it, so if you get one in your hands, take a look. You'll see molded in donuts. A gun looks like to be a nightstick and handcuffs on the seats and the computer laptop. Well, some cabs do have laptops now. They replace their uh, older uh, DDS systems or the transport systems. Not too many of them go around with carrying a gun, a nightstick, handcuffs, and donuts on the seats. So, maybe one day Matchbox will finally retool those interiors to fit a taxi cab, not just be reusing old police package stuff. So that is all the find for December 4th, 2011. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.